Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Gag. Google has launched the Android O beta program for the eligible Nexus and Pixel device at Google I/O 2017 yesterday. Today I'm going to talk about how to install the Android O beta version on your phone. So let's start. Do not forget to press the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get the notification from Gadget Gig and stay updated and informed. Right now, only 6 devices can enroll for the beta program. These are Nexus 5X, Nexus 6P, Google Pixel, Pixel XL, Pixel C Tablet and the Nexus Player set-top box. In order to get the update, you need to participate in the Android O beta program. And if you have already participated in the Android and beta program in the past, then you'll have to do it again for the Android O. So let me show you how you can install the Android O beta on your phone in few simple clicks. So first you need to go to the website which is google.com forward slash android forward slash beta from your phone or your PC provided you are signed in from the same Google account. So we have a Nexus 6P here and right now we are on the latest 7.1.2 Nougat version. So in order to get the Android O you need to go to the browser of your phone and go to the link which is google.com forward slash android forward slash beta and once you're there it will ask you to log in and you'll have to log in through the same id which you have on your phone once you're logged in you will see this page which will say your eligible devices i have a nexus 6p and as you can see it says enroll device once you click on enroll device it will give you the terms and conditions once you follow the terms and condition you need to click on I agree and click on join beta. So once you click on join beta, it will say your device is now enrolled. So click OK. So after clicking OK, you need to go back to the settings of your phone and search for the new update. So as you can see, we have one system update available and it is the beta version of the Android O. And the build is OPP 2.170420.017. So you just need to click on download and it will download that 1053 MB of file. So it will take some time depending upon your Wi-Fi connection. And also before installing the update, you need to be very careful that it's a beta update and there will be some bugs and crashes as most of the apps are yet to be updated to work with Android O. And one more thing, once you update to Android O, you can always unenroll the device and go back to the previous stable build. But it will wipe all your data, so make sure you have a backup of your phone. So we have finished installing the Android O in our phone. So let's check out what are the new things we have in this version. Starting from the notification, we have a new UI and also even the LTE icon is changed now. Let's go to the settings and see what we have there. The UI is changed a bit and also it's much more simpler than the previous version. Let's go to the about phone and see what android version we have. So as you can see we are running on the android O right now and we have the android O logo here. I think it will be named android Oreo. What do you think about the name of the android O? Do let us know in the comment section below. So that's it guys, this was the installing guide and the first impression of Android O. We will also be doing a detailed video about the new feature of Android O in our next upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.